getting ready to climb Mount Fuji at night. This is going to be dope. It's already nightfall kind of. If you check out the clouds in the background, you'll see some lightning sometimes. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to climb through the night so we can see the sunrise in the morning, drink a couple of beers at the top of Mount Fuji while watching the sunrise. I figured that would be kind of an epic story, the epic way to start the day. Getting ready to start the climb from the mountain head or from the trailhead to the top. It is 6.49. Uh, we'll probably hang out here for another 15, 20 minutes and then get headed up. Kind of want to get adjusted to the altitude sickness. So uh, see you up. Quick update, I uh, got altitude sickness and had to come back down. That was not fun. Well, try again. Sun's up, sunglasses on, at the fifth station, going up Mount Fuji of the Subaru Shiri line. Um, I'm going to include a video of the sun coming up. It's about 2,000 meters here, uh, so the air is a little bit thinner than I'm used to. And I got a little sick, altitude sickness on the way up. Uh, which was unfortunate because I had to turn around and make the trek down to here by myself. Why am I at the fifth station, do you ask? Well, that's where the bus drops you off. I hiked up, I don't even know, I went to the old Station 6, which is roughly about two hours away from the uh, start of the trailhead from the Station 5. And... Uh, yeah, I made it that far and just felt like a heavy weight on my chest and someone pounding on my head and chest at the same time. It was not pleasant. And I also felt like throwing up the whole way and the whole way down uh, until I got down to the bottom and uh, was able to lay down for a little bit. Um, I did stop at another station and lay down, but uh, that was only brief and I got too cold to stay there for much longer. So I wanted to come down to the starting point and uh, sleep here and there's more amenities here as well. Uh, and that's what that's kind of what happened. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it all the way up to the summit. Uh, that just means it's something for me to work on. Looks like I'm gonna have to do some more conditioning and change my workout re regiment a little bit more again. Uh, but at least I'm out here and I have a beautiful view we're above all the clouds i'll turn this around so you can see and the sun's just just come up and it's just beautiful such a serene place oh maybe that's my bus i will not be getting on this one i am waiting for some friends to come down um, i went up by myself or i went up with them and uh I don't want to be a total dick and leave them uh, you know, just because I got to the bus station before they did. Uh, so I'll hang out here. It should be about a three hour hike down and I think they might be on their way. But tell me this isn't gorgeous. It's just amazing. Oh, and look, there's the peak up there. Oh, I wish I could have made it up. 
So if you see all the woods here, I made it to about there. Um, the trail wound pretty tightly. It was actually very steep uh, as well. This is supposed to be one of the easier trails, so that doesn't make me feel any better. Um, I w we were originally going to try a different trail that was a little bit harder, but it was also shorter time to get up. Don't know if those things correlate correctly, because normally if it's more difficult, it would be harder to get up. But it also was only 1,700 uh, feet from Best Station 5 to the peak. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the story of me not making it to the top. But it's okay. It's given me some motivation and something to do. Uh, and to better prepare. This one was, this trip was kind of ill-prepared. Last minute, thrown together. Let's see how we can get there. It's also been very expensive. Um, so, and the trail closes in a couple of days. Um, I'm not going to try it again this year. But who knows, maybe I will come back and try it again another new year. After I've done some conditioning and gotten around the altitude sickness and worked my way into that. Um, if you have any tips for that, please leave them in the comments down below. That would be much appreciated. Uh, I don't know anything about that. I've always been sea level or below and uh, that's kind of where I'm at. Well, yeah. Thanks for watching to this point. Um, maybe I will uh, throw some more in here. But if you like it so far, just leave a like and shoot a comment. Maybe share it to a friend and subscribe. I'll try more stuff like this.